Cancer is the result of changes in cells that cause uncontrolled growth and division. In this diagram, you can see normal cells. Sometimes cell differentiation or division goes wrong and some genes are affected. This uncontrolled division happens by mitosis. As a result, you end up with abnormal cancer cells, which can all group together to form a tumour. The most common cancers in the UK are breast cancer, lung cancer, prostate cancer in men and bowel cancer. So what is a tumour? Benign tumours are growths of abnormal cells that are contained in one area. This diagram shows roughly what a benign tumour would look like underneath the skin. You can see how the cells are contained within a membrane. As these cells are contained, they're not cancerous. Benign tumours do not spread to other parts of the body. Although these tumours are not referred to as cancerous and do not spread, they can grow very large and can be life-threatening if they grow to cause pressure on an organ. So what is a cancerous tumour? Malignant tumour cells are cancers. This diagram shows what a malignant tumour would look like. You can see that the cells in this tumour are not contained as shown for the benign cells on the previous slide. So what happens when the malignant tumour cells aren't contained? Cancers invade neighbouring tissues and spread to other parts of the body in the blood. As the cancer cells are not contained, they have the ability to invade neighbouring tissues. Malignant cancer cells can also spread in the bloodstream to other tissues and organs. When this happens, it causes what we call secondary tumours. Thanks for watching. If you want to take your GCSE revision to the next level, head over to launchpadlearning.com and check out our smart learning platform that's been designed to get you top results in your exams. We cover your whole specification and make revision fun with interactive quizzes, easy to follow videos and more. You'll be kept motivated by your own AI tutor who's here to support you every step of the way. To check it out for yourself, click here or click here to keep watching a selection of the videos from our full GCSE Biology course. See you there!